Yo, what's up guys? How y'all doing today? I hope that your day has been treating you well. So, check it out. I presume you're watching this video because you want to learn a little bit about something on how to eat healthy, how to eat good, and how to take better care of the insides of your body. Okay? Your body wants to be happy. It's like you want to be happy. Okay? We got to take care of these bodies that we got. So, um, just to give you a quick rundown, um, the uh, a quick rundown on, who, on me. Okay, and, and my diet. I've studied a lot. I've read books. I've listened to seminars. I've watched um, um, documentaries on all kinds of different things. Okay, and I just try to use wisdom. Now, this is all my opinion that I'm giving you right now, and from my personal experience and uh, uh, learnings that I'm sharing with you. Okay, um, and I think that you'll find a lot of this is just common sense. Um, but I'm going to cut straight to the chase, okay? Now, some of you may disagree with my, my ideas, and that's totally fine. You are more than welcome to disagree. I'm not here to create an argument. I just, uh, I really believe in what I'm telling you, um, and I believe strongly that I'm right. <laughs> Granted, I don't know what I don't know, okay? I could learn something tomorrow or today that can maybe change the way I think a little bit, because we're learning and growing every single day that we're alive, uh, especially if we're teachable. Um, so I'm sure there's so much more that I don't know, and I'm always studying and learning. Um, so um, take this for what it is, okay? But I'm here to tell you right now that this works for me, okay? Um, how to eat healthy. A lot of people tell you, um, you know, eat like this, eat like this, eat these things, don't eat these things, okay? And a lot of it is a diet, like a specific diet. I've seen that there's like as many diets there are in the world as there are religions, you know what I'm saying? You've got the vegetarian diet, you've got the vegan diet, you've got the people that are like all meat diets, you have the people that eat uh, only raw, like eat everything raw diet, um, and, and they have the juice diet and all these different things, okay? And I'm like, well man, out of all these diets, which one works the best? Well, let's try them. So I've tried a lot of these diets. And uh, um, what I've learned through all of this is that there is no such thing as one diet that fixes everything. Um, and everybody's body is different. Okay, now that is key. Everybody's body is different. Okay, I've learned this. And uh, people with different metabolism, different builds, different uh, what have you, their body is just different, their DNA. Um, and they need to eat different things. Okay? A vegetarian might work vegetarian diet might work great for somebody, but it might be terrible for somebody else. If I eat an all vegetarian diet, I will tell you right now, I get weak and I don't feel good. Okay? We need to listen to our bodies. Okay. Um, it's difficult though because this diet says all these scientific all this diet has all these scientific studies that have been done, all these evidences that say it's right. And this one says this one's right, and blah 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 blah. Everyone's different. That's what it boils down to, okay? You need to listen to your own guidance system and trust it, okay? Feel good, think about how you want to feel, and listen to what your body tells you, okay? Um, that being said, I'm going to give you what I think is the best diet, <laughs> now that I've said all that, okay? You can eat anything you want. Just eat it as close to nature as possible. Those are also the words um, from a seminar I listened to. And I believe him very much so on that topic. Um, the idea is that nature produces food for man, animal, you know, whatever. And we are made up of all the same elements that the earth is made up of. Uh, the, the earth is made up of. So we need to be sure we're intaking things that are as close to nature as possible and have not been tampered with. Um, so you gotta wash things, you know what I'm saying, blah, 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 blah. But just eat as close to nature as possible. Um, of course there is a rule of thumb of certain things you want to avoid. And I'm gonna give you that list right now. So get out your pen and your paper and write these things down. And I don't want you to be overwhelmed by this list, okay? Just write it all down, don't overthink it, and just try to do these things one thing at a time, okay? Because it's, it's a heavy thing to do, and it's hard to do. When I first changed my diet, it was incredibly difficult. Incredibly difficult, okay? But uh, these are the things you want to avoid. Processed 
foods. Of all food groups. Okay, even dairy. You want to buy organic milk. If you can't get it locally, get it locally. Milk is jacked up by the time it gets to the store if you get non-organic milk. Um, so processed foods. Stay away from processed foods. Um, very much so, you want to avoid refined sugar. Refined sugar is incredibly bad for you. It's like poison in your body, okay? It's incredibly addictive and it's incredibly bad. Avoid refined sugar in all forms, from candy to soda, to being added to juice, to sauces. You want to do your very best to avoid refined sugar. And a lot of things have refined sugar. Um, so it takes time to get used to that and changing that habit. But sugar is key, okay, into changing your diet and maintaining a healthy weight, okay? And having energy, just feeling good. Sugar is dragging you down. So, processed foods, sugar, vegetable oils. Try to stay away from hydrogenated vegetable oils, uh, vegetable oils in general. Use replacements like coconut oil, organic coconut oil, uh, extra virgin if you can. Uh, grape seed oil, olive oil, uh, or um, olive oil and um, avocado oil. Okay, do some research on oils. Okay, and research all these things up on your own. You know, go out there and be proactive. It'll help you um, to know more, and it'll help give you incentive because you'll see other people's testimonies on this stuff as well. Um, stay away from high fructose corn syrup. Very bad. Very bad. Stay away from high fructose. High fructose corn syrup as much as you possibly can. I won't have it. I won't. If, it, if anything says high fructose corn syrup in it, I don't need it, period, whatsoever. It's getting easier and easier to avoid it, though, because they're having more organic products. Like Walmart has their great value brand, and they're starting to have great value organics. Like ketchup. Ketchup's like high fructose corn syrup, Cityville, USA. Same with barbecue sauce, but there are diff different brands. Just start looking at all the ingredients when you go to the store. Look at them. Avoid high fructose corn syrup. MSG, also known as monosodium glutamates. Avoid MSG. Aspartame, avoid aspartame at all costs. Um, stop eating fast food, it's incredibly processed and loaded with all kinds of junk. A lot of these chemicals we're talking about. Stay away from fast food, stop today, S quit. I don't care how easy it is, um, whatever. Just make enough dinner the night before for lunch for the next day, okay? Pack it up, take it with you to work or whatever it is you're gonna do. There are some restaurants you can eat at that have quality food, very few. Um, but stay away from fast food, okay, just stop. Um, and here's the hardest one for most people, okay? Like I said, don't get overwhelmed by this list. Just write them all down and try to take these things out of your diet one thing at a time. I promise you will feel better if you do this. I promise you, okay? Um, caffeine is a huge problem, in my opinion, okay, in society today. And scientific studies say drink coffee. It's good for you. Some say don't drink coffee. It's bad for you. Just like I said, who's right? Well, here's the bottom line. Even from the American Psychological Association, they say stimulants are bad, okay? Caffeine is a stimulant. It's an addictive thing. Caffeine makes your body have energy that you really aren't supposed to have. I don't know how many people I know, I can't count them all, that say, oh, I gotta have my morning coffee so I can wake up and function. You become addicted to it, you're relying on it, and caffeine will give you an energy boost. Especially when you first start taking it. It's like, wow, woo, stimulants, I feel so great. But it's not natural, it's not good for your body. Maybe like on a rare occasion, it could be okay. But when it's a daily thing, you've got some serious problems. And when I mean occasional, I mean like twice a month at the most. I'm serious. Stay away from caffeine, stop drinking coffee. Stop relying on things to give you energy. And this ties back to when I started this video a little bit ago, is listen to your body. If you're tired, your body's not saying, man, I'm tired, I need caffeine. Your body's saying, dude, I'm tired. Something's wrong. I need you to fix what's wrong. Generally, it's because you're either eating crap or you're not sleeping good. And then people, you know, take stimulants to feel better. And you're just adding more chaos to the mixture. If you're tired, your body's telling you something, okay? Um, it doesn't mean put a stimulant in me, it means sleep more. Maybe take a few days off work, request them off ahead of time to just get some sleep, get a schedule put together, go to bed earlier, get up earlier, okay? Um, huge, huge difference in some of these things. That's my list. I'm gonna go through it really quick, write it down. Processed foods, sugar, 
Um, organic cane sugar, it's, if it's certified, can be okay. It really can. But refined sugars, if it's not USDA organic and unrefined, just don't buy it, okay? So going over it again. Processed foods, sugar, vegetable oils, high fructose corn syrup, MSG, aspartame, fast food, and caffeine. It's a big list, huge change for someone to make. Don't be overwhelmed. Try to tackle these things one thing at a time. Maybe even uh, uh, pick one thing for a month and go, you know what? I'm going to um, cut out using vegetable oils. I'm gonna start using coconut oil this month. It's the first thing I'm gonna do. Or maybe two weeks, whatever feels good for you. And then the next month go, okay, I'm cutting out high fructose corn syrup. Done. I'm not buying anything that has high fructose corn syrup. Take that on. And then go, you know what? I'm gonna take out sugar this next month. That's one of the biggest and hardest ones to do. And, uh, but you can do it. Your mind just has to be made up. It's only as difficult as your mind allows it to be. If you're motivated, you can do anything you want. Okay, it's the proper motivation. I could go off on examples of that, but I'm not going to. Just know that that's true. Um, when your mind is set and the mind is right, whatever the mind of man can conceive and bring itself to believe it can achieve. Okay? So, um, go through that list, cut those things out of your diet. Getting rid of all of those is gonna change your life dramatically. I promise you that. It has changed my life dramatically. And that's why I'm sharing this information with you. If you get rid of these things out of your diet, you're, you're gonna be a new person. Um, especially if you couple it with going to bed early and getting up early. People sleep in all the time and your brain doesn't function properly throughout the whole day. Start getting up early and create a good routine, you're gonna have way more energy. That's another topic though. This is just about diet. I get carried away talking, you know what I'm saying? Um, and going along with try to eat as close to nature as possible, try to eat as organic as you can, okay? Sometimes you can't, sometimes it's not possible, but whenever the opportunity is there to buy organic, do it. Buy organic, uh, non-genetically modified foods, okay? There is a difference. The chemicals that, they're being, that are being sprayed on these things or on our food is, is terrible and is wreaking havoc on our bodies, okay? Um, so, eat organic. Uh, if you're gonna eat at a restaurant, eat at quality restaurants where they do local foods or they don't go through the main uh, chains like Cisco. Ask the restaurant, hey, where do you guys get all your food from? There's two here where I can eat. I can eat at the Chipotle and uh, Cafe Zupa's um, uh, and where they get their ingredients are from multiple different sources because they try to find the best quality ingredients. And I don't feel gross after I eat there. I feel actually really good. So listening to your body. You go to McDonald's, after you start eating healthy for a while and you go eat some McDoogies, you're gonna walk out and be like, oh my gosh, what did I do to myself? It's terrible, don't do it. Um, and buy local whenever you can, okay? Local is really a big, big deal because you're supporting your local economy, your local organic farmers, and you're supporting yourself because you're giving yourself quality food that's incredibly, incredibly better for you. So that's my how to eat healthy, guys. So uh, I hope you found this informational. Like I said, a lot of it's my opinion, my own study, my own research. Uh, I don't have a PhD, you know what I'm saying? I don't have my master's. I'm just a normal dude living my life trying to find the truth. And uh, I read, I watch, I listen. Um, and uh, in multiple different levels do I listen and I listen to my body. Uh, I'll do another video where I'm gonna talk about my life story a little bit and why I needed to change my diet. How I used to have acne so bad that it was cysts big cysts, like boil type things along my face. You couldn't even feel my jawline. It was just one giant infection. I couldn't sleep on my sides at night. Okay, I used to have really bad ADHD. I couldn't focus on one thing. Um, I had terrible sleep patterns. I couldn't sleep at night anyway. Uh, I had a lot of anxiety, uh, some depression and stuff. And uh, um, just all kinds of messed up things. I couldn't even run the mile when I was in middle school. I was so unhealthy. Um, but now I feel like I can do anything in the world. I can run, I can jog, I can work out, I can, uh, uh, I'm, I'm a single dad with two kids, you know, I work a full-time job, doing my YouTube channel, uh, trying to find time for family and my reading and material and studying and research. I'm busy 24-7, I have so much energy I don't know what to do with myself. Like seriously, I'm like, I wish I didn't have to sleep. I was just telling my parents that. I'm like, man, I wish I didn't have to sleep because I just want to read books and, and, and watch seminars and learn and cook and create. Why do I just want to stop sleeping, man? I want to be busy all the time. I feel so good. I'm so excited for life. And it's key because everyone can feel that way, but it all starts by changing your diet. 
but you have to desire the change. If you don't desire the change, it ain't gonna happen. Or just start slow if your desire is little. If your desire is huge, do whatever you want. Take it how you will. I'm not gonna judge you and what your desires are. Um, everyone's path is different. This has just been mine, and I'm sharing it with you and what I've learned. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, whatever, give me a thumbs down. Actually, don't give me a thumbs down if you don't like it. Just move on to something else. Or leave me a comment why you don't like it. I could, you know, use some constructive criticism uh, if your opinion matters. Sometimes there's just mean people out there who are just out there to be jerks. You all know what I'm talking about. Um, hope you're not one of those people. I don't think so. I think if you're watching this video, you're pretty freaking boss because, hey, man, you're watching a How to Eat Healthy video. I mean, you're trying to improve yourself. Um, I just get to talking. I'm having fun right now, guys. Sorry. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Peace out. Have a good life. Eat healthy. Be happy.